Hello, my name is Karen and I'm a librarian here with Monon County Libraries and I just wanted to say a huge thank you for getting involved in our Life Start Baby project. Um, I suppose as librarians we think that you can never be too young to enjoy a good book, whether that be listening to a story or whether that just be playing it. So these are all board books that you'll be getting over the next year um, so, and they're yours to keep. So don't worry if there are little bite marks in the corner or if there's a little tear in any of the flaps or anything like that, don't worry, they're your books to keep um, as long as your children are enjoying them, that's all that matters. So they can just use it if you haven't time to read it to them at a particular time. You can just give it to them, let them let them play about with it themselves so they're familiar with the concept of a book, how to turn the pages, you know, looking at the shapes and colours will just be something that will, will keep them occupied for a little while as well. Um, but we would really love it if you could take a few minutes out of your day to sit down with your child and read the story. So the first book that you'll have received is a book called Dear Zoo by Rod Campbell. And this is a bit of a children's classic, I suppose. It's going to be 40 years next year since it was first written. Um, we use this regularly in our story times here in the library. Um, and hopefully at some stage you might come in and join us for a story time with other parents and babies um, whenever things get back to normal and we can, we can have those things happening again in the library. But for now, I'm just going to read the story straight through. And then I'm going to go back through it and show you how, can, how you can do a little bit more with it if your child is a wee bit older. Um, how to introduce, you know, shapes, signs, um, colours, that type of thing. So I'll read it straight through first and then I'll go through it again and show you how to enhance it a little bit. So this is Dear Zoo by Rod Campbell. And it's about a little child who wants a new pet so they write to the zoo to see what they can get. I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. They sent me an elephant, but he was too big, so I sent him back. So they sent me a giraffe. He was too tall. I sent him back. So they sent me a lion. He was too fierce. I sent him back. So they sent me a camel. He was too grumpy. I sent him back. So they sent me a snake. He was too scary. I sent him back. So they sent me a monkey. He was too naughty. I sent him back. So they sent me a frog. He was too jumpy. I sent him back. So they thought very hard and sent me a puppy. He was perfect. I kept him. The end. So you can see that that's quite a simple story with quite a lot of repetition. But um, I'm going to read it now the way we would do it here at story time and try and pull a little bit more out of the book and um, make it more exciting for the kids. Um, so we'll start again from the start. I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. They sent me a... Look at this. It's a big box. What type of shape is it? It's a square. And what colour is that? Yellow. Hmm. Do we know any yellow animals that might be coming from the zoo? Let me take a look. Oh, will I give you a clue? He's big and grey. He's not yellow. He's grey. And he's got a big trunk. It's an elephant, of course. Would an elephant be a good pet? I don't think so. He'd be too big, wouldn't he? Would he fit in your house? No way. He wouldn't even fit through your door. So what do we do? Send him back. So they sent me a... Look, this is another big box. It's very tall. I can see a head sticking out the top. Do you know the animal that has a very tall neck? Before we open it, what colour is the box that he's in? Green. 
And do you know what shape this is with two long sides? It's a rectangle. Let's open it and see if you're right. Of course, it's a giraffe with a very tall neck. Show me your very tall neck. <gasps> Would he be a good pet? He'd be too tall, wouldn't he? So what do we do? Send him back. So they sent me a, oh, look at this red box. Red means danger, doesn't it? Can you think of any dangerous animal that might live at the zoo? Look, I can see a tail. What is it? Oh, it's a lion. What sound does a lion make? Can you tell me the sound a lion makes? Rawr. Oh, would we keep him? No way. He'd be far too fierce. Let's close up his box and what do we do? Send him back. So they sent me a look at this blue box. I think I can see a hump in here. Do you know any animal that might have a hump on its back? Oh, let's open it. It's a camel. Would a camel be a good pet? I don't think so. Do you know something that camels do? They spit. Yeah. He'd be far too grumpy. So what will we do? Send him back. So they sent me this little basket. Hmm, what do you think could be in a little basket? Let's take a listen. Do you know any animal that makes a sound? A snake. Ooh, would you like a snake for a pet? I wouldn't. He'd be far too scary. So what do we do? Send him back. So they sent me a little box with a monkey inside. I think a monkey would be a good pet, do you? Hello, what's he eating? He's eating a banana. He might eat my banana. Mm, and I think monkeys are very naughty. Yes, we'll send him back. Oh, this looks like it could be a nice pet. It's in a small pink box. Let's open it and see. Oh, it's a frog. Would a frog be a good pet? I don't think so. He'd be jumping all around the place, wouldn't he? And you certainly couldn't take a frog for a walk. So what we do? Close up the box and send him back. So they thought very hard and sent me a... Hmm, look at this little box. Will we open it and see? What would you like for a pet? See what they brought us? <gasps> it's a puppy! He was perfect. So I'm going to keep him. Can you think of any names that you might call a puppy? Hmm? And that's the end of the story. So that's just to demonstrate how you can you can pull a little bit more out of the actual book than just the words on the page. So that is, as I say, our first book for the Lifestar Baby Project. We've got another beautiful book coming for you next month, so we'll look out for that coming in the post. Um, and also, your membership card will be coming in the next packet as well. And once you have that, you're free to go into your local library. Actually, you can go into any library across the country and borrow some books if you like. So you can see here, there's lots of beautiful board books in, in all our branches. These, you can borrow them for three weeks and don't worry about overdue fines and um, we don't charge fines anymore and don't worry about lost or damaged books because um, we understand that children children can have a little bit too much fun with their books and maybe pages get ripped or they get lost or anything like that they get scribbled on we're well used to it and um, so we just take it off your account if there's no fines there's no over there's no replacement costs anything like that so um as i said we just love to have books in the hands of children so um don't worry about overdues or anything like that they don't exist anymore so as i said we'll be back next month with a reading of next month's book so we'll see you then bye, -bye.